Hello, today I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough of the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad 4.2 walkthrough. This was just released today. You can find it by plugging your device into iTunes and clicking update. If it's not automatically detected, um, you can see the features on Apple's website. There's a link from the home page uh, to see the 4.2 software update. But anyway, let's get to it. So the biggest thing probably is multitasking. So if I wanted to, let's say, um, launch notes, I could double click on the home button and up will pop the multitasking tab. Now since I just loaded this up, there's not going to be anything down here except uh, some music controls and a accelerometer lock because now the button on the side, the switch on the side is for mute which I think is unnecessary because you can just hold down on the volume button for two seconds and it will mute it but anyway that's now the accelerometer lock you can control your music from here so I've launched uh, notes let's go ahead and launch calendar for a second and then um, this game over here now if I was playing this game and I want to double click on the home button up pops the multitasking bar and I can switch to notes right away. Uh, so that's basically multitasking. That's the essential of it. I'm not sure why this keeps on popping up. That's for my mail. Um, now for mail, this is also something new. I don't want to give you my message. Um, but if I can go all the way back and now I can have a um, unified inbox just like on the iPhone had it, uh, well has it. So I can have all inboxes or just my separate email accounts and if I go to all inboxes, it'll just be um, all my inboxes put together, which is really nice. Rather than going through all my mail accounts, I can see them all in one single um, <clears throat> one single uh, unified inbox. Uh, next, we have folders, which you've all seen before on the iPhone and iPod Touch. If I wanted to group these games together, I could drag one on top of the other and call it games or whatever I like and I could just you know drag them all onto here so this is nice because now I can uh, put more apps on my iPad without worrying about it getting too cluttered that's very simple um, yes okay, so that's folders next is air print I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show you this because I don't actually have a Wi-Fi printer um, maybe I have to set it up. Just, just so you know, this is the first time I've looking at it. I know that's not really good of me because I should have everything uh, together. So let's say I'm on the internet. Here we go. I would click this uh, little export button. I don't know if you can see it. I would click this button right here. And no, not that one this one and I would get add bookmark, add to home screen, mailing to this page and now I have print and I would be able to uh, set it up with a printer how many copies I want let's see just what it says it'll say no printers because my printer is not Wi-Fi capable um, so that's AirPrint next is AirPlay um, I don't have an Apple TV or anything like that so I'm not sure going to be able to show you that but AirPlay is basically if I'm watching a movie on my iPad, I click um, and I click on the AirPlay button. It will let me export it to my Apple TV, and I can watch it on my big screen uh, downstairs. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be able to turn to Mac, meaning I could export what I'm watching on my iPad to my Mac, which would be quite nice, and vice versa what I'm watching on my Mac onto my iPad without uh, downloading a whole bunch of files but that's essentially AirPlay also you can do find my iPad if you haven't heard about it for the iPhone but that's only if you have 3G there should be Game Center now on here where is it? here it is I'm not going to log into my account right now unless it's already logged in oh, hang on one second looks like it is anyway oh yeah here we go so this is my account basically um, you can look at friends, games, 
and friend requests. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it looks really nice on here with all the different apps, and you can click on it to go buy it. Um, but that's basically Game Center, nothing special. Uh, so next is, uh, let's go back to Safari. And apparently you can find text on a web page. So, let's try this out. Maybe I have to, uh... I'm not sure how to do it, but apparently you can search a web page for a certain text. So let's say I wanted to find the part on this SparkNotes page where it talks about um, a certain character doing something. I could maybe search for that. I'm not really sure where it is. Little icon that says 2 on it. It looks different. I'm not sure. That really doesn't matter. But on Apple's website, it says you can uh, customize your notes using different fonts, such as Marker Felt, Helvetica, and Chalkboard. So, everybody loves Helvetica. Anyway, I'm not sure how we do this, so I'm sorry about that. But, you can do it, somehow. You can also reply to calendar invitations. There's some keyboard and dictionary enhancements. So, uh, let's say I bring up the keyboard. We can see there is a nice change on the keyboard. Uh, not actually what the keyboard holds, but there's a bevel and a little shadow underneath for the keys, which makes it, makes it kind of seem more of a... the buttons are kind of standing out. And I really like that. It's a nice design change. Um, there's also more 50 more languages, so if you're one of those 50 languages, which you're probably not because you're watching an English video, uh, good for you. There's output in Braille and a whole bunch of... Uh, enterprise support, as well as messaging text tones. So that's iOS 4.2. I hope you enjoy it. Any questions, comment down below. And if you do know how to get, uh, how to change the text, I would like to know that. Um, but other than that, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video.